Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. As always, I am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with Star Wars The Black Series from Return of the Jedi, General Lando Calrissian. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or to help support the channel further, or both. That's fine too. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future, you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And as we normally do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. On the top, a hook, a window to let some light in. Star Wars The Black Series, nice window showcasing Billy D. Williams as Lando Calrissian and a pistol. Star Wars Return of the Jedi, General Lando Calrissian, warning! Don't stick things in your pile that don't belong there, four and up. Hasbro. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, symbols I'm not going to learn, and a barcode. On the side, the stripe continuing around from the front, and Star Wars The Black Series. Nothing else except for a sliver of a window. On this side, artwork depicting Lando, and looks like the internal workings of the Death Star. And General Lando Calrissian. On the back, same artwork of General Calrissian, Star Wars The Black Series, General Lando Calrissian. Lando Calrissian served as a general in the Starfighter attack on the second Death Star, showing off his superb piloting skills by guiding the Millennium Falcon into the Death Star superstructure. Nice. And there it is again in some languages that I don't speak. He's 07 in the Return of the Jedi series. Warning, don't stick things in your French pie hole. Includes figure and accessory. Warning, don't stick things in your other language pie holes. And some small print, pie print, legalese print, main China print, Disney print, and Hasbro print. That, my friends, completes a look at the General's packaging. And now let's take a look at the figure and his accessory. And I bumped the camera, of course. Got the handy dandy tweezers here. And let's take a look at what I'm going to call Lando's Holdout Blaster. Uh, for a small piece, it does have some nice details in the molding. And of course, it is molded in color. So, a nice little piece. And now let's take a look at Lando himself, and let's adjust the camera just a little bit. That face sculpt is fabulous, my friends. Look at it. That is Billy D. Williams. This head sculpt says to me, Colt 45 works every time. That's just Billy D, man. Give him a cigar and, you know, don't look at the clothes. Give him a cigar and, uh, you know, it's straight out of Batman 89. So, uh, they outdid themselves on this face sculpt and the uh, printing for the paints. I mean... It's awesome. Uh, for the cape, it is a soft goods cape. So, you know, it has its positives and its negatives. So the plastic, I um, mean, the uh, cord here for the cape is a plastic piece. So I'm sure you could probably pop Lando's head off and remove the cape if you wanted. Uh, 
And the holster here is a separate piece. So let's kind of get that back behind him. Uh, the, holder here, the holster is a separate piece. And the gun, let's see how well it fits in there. And fits in there rather nicely. You do have to force it just a tad to get it in there. Uh, he's got some paint apps at the collar. And then right here. Uh, and then some paint apps here at the wrist on this side. Stripe going down the pants. And uh, paint on the buckle. That's nice. No paint apps on the back. Let's take a look at his articulation. He doesn't really look up. He looks down just a tad. He can do the full exorcist. And he got a little bit of waggle. Waggle, waggle, waggle. No chicken neck. At the shoulder. Uh, maybe a little better than 90 degrees. And then, of course, 360 degrees all the way around. Hinge and swivel at the elbow. Swivel does a full 360. And the hinge is really tight. But it does give you better than 90 degrees. At the wrist, a full 360 degrees of rotation. On and in and out hinge. And the other hand is on an up and down hinge. So that works. A cut here where the chest meets the rest of the torso. And he got in some hula hoopy action going on there. Hoopy hoop. And forward. He back crunches that far. Get out of the way, arm. So back crunches that far. Forward crunch, that much. And let's see. And as is now typical on Black Series figures, no cut at the waist. So all, that's all right there on that ball joint, 360 degrees all the way around. For his legs. He can give you that much of the splits. He kicks forward this far. Back that far. It does swing out a little bit uh, from his butt. So you can get back that far. Cut here at the upper thigh for a really tight 360 degrees of rotation. Engine swivel at the knee. Swivel 360 degrees and the knee gives you right about 90. At the ankle, goes down that far, up that far. So that's pretty good range of motion there. And a forward facing pin for rocker. Let's see if we can straighten that elbow back out. Ah, there we go. Let's fix the cape, maybe. And there we go, my friends. A look. At General Lando Calrissian and his accessory.
Now, friends, it is time for my favorite part of a review, the comparisons. And we will start things off with Lando versus Lando. And this is the first Black Series Lando, not the uh, Retro Empire 40th carded Lando. So you can see there is a big difference there. And even though this one looks kind of like Billy D, you know, General takes the cake in that department. And of course, this one has a molded black cape, black cape, a molded plastic cape, durable. So, you know, you got to take it off of him to kind of free Lando up a bit. And if they ever do an archive of this one, I hope they figure out some way to do a plastic, a cloth soft goods cape. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just getting all my words confused today. So, there he is with a the only other Lando that I have in at least in six inch scale. I got a ton of Landos in three and three quarter. And here he is with indoor Han Solo, also from Return of the Jedi, of course. And indoor Luke Skywalker. And here he is with indoor Princess Leia. And for the last Black Series figure, here he is with the Archive Wave 501st Clone Trooper. And let's see how he stacks up with other lines. Making his cameo appearance, here is Stan the Man Lee. Finally on a stand. From G.I. Joe Classified Series. Here he is with the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander. And for some 7 inch goodness, here is McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond. And that, my friends, completes the comparisons. For final thoughts on Star Wars The Black Series, Return of the Jedi, General Lando Calrissian. My friends, face sculpts for Billy D. Williams don't get much better than this, at least in six inch scale. Or one twelfth scale. So one twelfth? Yeah, one twelfth scale. I, I love this figure. I mean, I, I need some... Uh, I need a Colt 45 prop to go with this guy for some crazy pictures. Uh, I can see General Lando and Deadpool hanging out in some crazy pictures. But uh, this this is a great figure. And right now, at least at my Walmart, it's a peg warmer. So if you guys like Billy D or you like Lando, go to your Walmart and see if they got it. Because this is not a Black Series figure to pass on. This, I mean, it doesn't get much more Lando than this. 
Well, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. This Lindo figure is great. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out further, or both. That's great. Awesomely cool. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.